Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Immortals. In the last episode, we were able to beat the Gunteria Regional Champion and defeated Marie Dupont, who just ran away the entire time. All right, let's get in the level up and then we'll move on, I think. Let's battle some teams. Why not, I guess? Why not? We'll battle some teams. Roll an 18. I rolled a 3. Again, my terrible luck with rolling dice. There you go. It's a good thing that I have the power. Unfortunately, I'm immolated, which is great. Have that. Right, how about you? You seem look very armored. Black cat. Oh no, I'm I'm just gonna be there going, oh no, I'm immolated! Ha ah, punch! Take that. Oh, I'm immolated again. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you are uh Mr. Bow Guy. I am now also poisoned, but I'm galvanized, so health gener regeneration is double. Sounds good to me. You're gone! Yeah, getting getting that. Uh, increase on a stress level is really good. Really good. We've leveled up as well. Very nice. Shame this isn't a survival. That would have been really useful at this point, to be honest. Anyway, I'm just going to battle these. Uh, I don't need to, but I'm going to battle these guys for some experience. I rolled a lot again with an 11. I am frozen. That is fine. Warrior strike. There goes all your armor. You are now electrified. Uh, I'm still frozen. So command. Come towards me. It does leave me open for an attack, but if I survive the attack, I can just go in. There you go. That head strike does a lot of damage, to be fair. It's only a thousand damage with that. Smite him! Oh. That'd have been nice. Oh, well. oh no! Not 77 damage. My pride is hurt. Don't ruin my pride. Aha! You, I think, lose. You do? No, you don't. You still have a helmet left. Alright. Power attack! Nice. It's a strong power attack right there. Maybe I should be using the power attack more often. Should probably be using that more often. It does about as much damage as my skills. Which is quite good. Team four. All right. We are honorable. Oh, nice. You went for one of those as well, did you? All right, then. Oh, nice parry. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Uh, final human spirit then. Increased off our levels. Nice parry. Right, you bastard, it's my turn. There you go, there goes your helmet. You're electrified. Ooh, you have gotten rid of my cape though. I'll uh, hit you in the head. Ooh, ah, ah, nice crit. I'm healing from that. Need to heal after all. That worked. It worked well, to be honest. It did work well. Lunge attack. You're gone. I don't have armor to take you on, Sid. But I do still have things to get rid of your armor. There you go. I'm indomitable. Stamina regeneration. Sounds good to me, that does. You're gone. All right. That worked in my favor. Very nice indeed. We're too strong for our enemies. Indeed we were. Indeed we were. All right, uh, level up's definitely required here. I decided to also stay here because the shop's gonna have some more items um, at some point. So yeah, let's do double the strength. Two the strength here. We've sort of got everything we want here right now, so I could move to something else. Maybe defensive techniques might be good for us. Increase size and health with Juggernaut. Increase maximum health. Health regeneration. Increase my hit chance in finding extreme weather. I can increase my uh, conviction, which would be quite good. I mean, what else have we got here? We've got theatrics. So we can do sonic damage, hit chance for sonic attacks, damage done by taunts, jump power and movement. Extra gold might not be a bad thing, actually. Let's go showman. Let's go showman. Let's uh, get more gold in battle. Sounds good to me. Could certainly do with it. Wasn't expecting to see that. All right, that's slightly unsettling. All right, moving on to the overworld. Let us, oh no, hang on. We forgot the whole reason I'm staying in Gunteria. Completely forgot about that. 210 days till arrival. I don't like that. Um, yeah. Check to see if there's anything new that we can get at level 44. 
You'd have been alright if you weren't on a crappy knife. Like that, for example. Uh, unfortunately, my weapon is better. We can now get a war sword. A war sword. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm actually going to buy that. I'm not going to be able to use it for a while, but it's all about thinking about the future. About thinking about the future with this character. Okay. So, nothing there. Let's keep moving down, see what we got. You're probably rubbish. You are rubbish. Moving on. Oh, you are also going to be rubbish, yep. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to get into the good stuff, hopefully. Okay. Boost to my vitality. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, no, I don't want you. Oh, Jesus. I mean, yeah. That's just better. Holy armor value. Power to my attack. Sounds good. Uh, I don't want that. What was the other one that was alright? You. Yeah, boost to my vitality. I lose a bit of strength. I don't necessarily mind that. Yeah, my strength's quite good already. But it's going to give me a big boost to my armor. Which is hopefully going to be the uh, the difference maker. That'd be very nice. So let's sell you. So yeah, you didn't last long. You really didn't last too long. You didn't. And we'll get rid of you as well. Alright. And that was good. I said a lot of money spent there. But hopefully it will allow us to do a lot better. Alright, we're moving to Warmhaven. Let's go! Alright. Given its proximity in the northern polar cap, it is surprising Warmhaven isn't, uh, in fact, colder. Verdant uh, valleys mixed with icy fjords to produce a spectacular and beautiful land home to many warrior peoples. No clubs and a time limit. That's fine. I can deal with that quite easily. Let's go on an adventure. Mystery of the Polyps. Warmhaven is supposed to be a prime location to hone one's hunting skills. Thus far, however, the Alpine Forest have proven disappointingly void of any decent game. You're hoping to start the day with a nice venison steak, but a bowl of barley and broth may have to suffice. At the very least, your campsite parks near enough to some thermal vents, but you won't have to, uh, that you won't have to suffer a cold meal. It's just a shame that they're not the kind you can swim in. Not without losing your skin, anyway. On the way back to your tent, your boot catches on an object buried beneath the snow. You try wrenching your foot free of the snag and end up toppling backwards when the object abruptly surfaces. Something hefty lands in your lap and you start to see the lifeless body of a deer lying across your legs. Your initial delight at having discovered a potential meal extinguishes though as you notice a fluorescent pink liquid dripping from the carcass's mouth. When, uh, whatever this animal ate doesn't look natural and you're not prepared to risk food poisoning or actual poisoning as the case may have been for this deer. Heaving the stiff body off your thighs, you continue towards the campsite, only to have your toes shook on something else. A few dozen steps later, you kick up the body of another animal, this time a rabbit, and it eerily exhibits the same fluorescent fluid trickling out of its facial cavity.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that folks. It seems like I went into chipmunk mode for a minute there, so yeah, anyway. Hopefully you'd have just seen obviously this, but yeah. Um, anyway, moving on. A burning curiosity uh, incinerates your sense of wary as you, gen as you gingerly step out onto the field of polyps to get a closer look. Even though, uh, even through the thick soles of your boots, you can still, you can feel an intense warmth radiating from the growths. But it doesn't slow your advance any. Step by tender step, you creep along the roads, uh, the, the heads of the coral, until your hands are in reaching distance of the structure. Upon touching its smooth silver surface, a gentle vibration runs up the length of your arm, and the wall before you inexplicably slides apart to reveal a brightly lit interior space. Rows of glowing, iridescent panels greet your entry, seemingly springing to life the moment you set foot into the room. A number of indecipherable, uh, undecipherable glyphs scroll across the face of these panels, flowing vertically like leaves in a stream. God, this is a long one. <coughs> it's a genuine struggle to tear your eyes from the hypnotic display, and your wonderment only increases as you head deeper into the building passing all manner of strange instruments and architectural details that seem to defy logic. Eventually, your touring leads you into a heavily damaged chamber that's particularly submerged in bubbling water. Rows of glass tubes containing samples of the coralesque substances occupy its length, though several of them appear smashed open, and groupings of the once captive specimen have ta overtaken the floor. Interestingly, those clutters growing near the boiling runoff of what you can guess is, hot, is a hot spring have turned white. What truly grabs your attention, however, is the blaster secured on one wall. Since the automatons introduced these weapons into the gladiatorial fray, you've been itching to get your hands on one. After removing the device from its holster, you discover two clear capsules strapped to its side, one marked with a symbol of fire and containing a purplish-black liquid. The other, the, where are we? Oh yeah, and the other holding what appears to be a sample of plain water. Finding a cylindrical slot at the base of the gun, you discern these capsules must be ammunition. The question is, which cartridge would be best to neutralize the invasive organism? Let's go with water, why not? Assuming this water is sampled from the geothermal, from the geothermal tent, its sulfurous acidity might have the same bleaching effect. Fig figuring that's one uh, way to know, you insert the uh, aqueous cartridge with a gratifying click and unleash several volleys of water onto the spongy mounds. The coral is slowly bled of its color until the entire mass has turned chalk white. You give a few instances a kick for good measure and are satisfied with when they easily crumbled into dust. After backtracking into the forest, you began apply you begin applying the same method to the outside infestation, making certain to cover every inch of the vermilion carpet. Soon, the blight has all but faded into the ensuing snowfall, and with its demise returns the crispness, the crispness of the air. You breathe deeply, content in the knowledge that you have saved hundreds of animals from a grisly fate, and possibly prevented unforeseen altercation uh, uh, alterations of this pristine landscape. And while you didn't get a steak this time round, you have a feeling a new firearm will make future hunting trips a breeze once you are powerful enough to use it. Game two attack, brilliant. All right, moving onwards. Okay, 207 days till arrival. Uh, let's check the weapons in the armor again. Might as well. We have another machete. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as good as, as, as what we've got. I mean, yeah, I'm obviously going to be getting that war sword. I mean, uh, yeah, I already bought one, didn't I? Yeah, I've already bought a war sword, so yeah. We're going to be powering that thing up for definite. For definite. Okay, let's get into some fights, shall we? Uh, flipper calls. Hello. Let's take on you. Why not? Our battle score clearly outweighs yours, so we should be okay here, hopefully. Roll to 15. That's a lovely start for me. Or a strike. Yeah. There goes all your armor. Aha, I parried. Which means I win. There you go. Whoa. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. 
Yes, backflip for victory. All right. Yep. If I can just get one more battle here, I'm going to take on Varro. Um, simply so I can get more money, pretty much. That's the plan. I rolled a 16. It's not great. Ooh. Do that. We got so much to talk about. Like, uh, fighting. A lot of fight. There you go. There goes your helmet. Well, I'm not having any of that. Smite. Oh. Do you want, if you want to come towards me, I can help you with that. Come on. Come over here. Oh no, not 31 damage. My pride is hurt. Ooh, nice parry. Yeah. Good thing I'm indomitable. That's really going to help out, actually. There you go. Power attack. You're electrified as well. All right. Lunge in, I guess. Lunge. Nice work. All right. You had way too much stamina. I did level up, though. That's important. Level up. Very much needed there. Very much needed. All right. Uh, let's go for some strength. I did lose some strength earlier, so probably good to do that. Let's get more showman going. Get more gold. Require more gold. That's the plan. <coughs> All right. New items are in the shop. We're now level 45. We have a Plague Forged Dirk. Very interested in that. We also have a Holy Storm Forged Spaffer. And the Devious War Sword of the Tides. Jesus. Alright then. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. That is quite a lot. Would I be able to make mine stronger than that, though? That's the question, really. Let's try the armor, then. See what you've got. See if you've got anything different. Anything good? I know I should have checked the armor earlier as well. I completely forgot to do that. Uh, have you got anything at all? You do. It's not as good as what I've got, though. Nor's that. Or that. That's better. That is better. Yeah. That is better. Let's get you. I'm running low on money now. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be getting that uh, that sword, to be fair. Not with this now. I'm not going to be getting that sword. That's fine. I have my plan anyway. For uh, my sword. Because I'm going to be getting... Well, I've already got a war sword, so really I just need to boost it, really. No necromancy magic. I'm perfectly fine with that. Does not worry me in the, start, in the slightest. Let's try and get some money. I rolled a five. Great start. Oh no, my cape! That's me. Stop that. There is most of your armor. Power attack finishes you off. Alright. Nice work. Yeah, we're getting 5,800 gold now, which is quite good. Quite good. We're getting close to getting that war sword going at 48. Just wondering, actually. What have you got for me? For my level? I mean, you'd be really nice. You would be really nice. Do I get you? Plus three to strength. Oh, that's, that'd be great as well. Do you know what? I'm actually going to buy you. You're going to go on that war sword. And that will essentially be when I get to level 50. Mm -hmm. Which is fine by me. That's okay. That is okay. I think I'm fine to keep with the current weapon I've got. At least until level 50. Alright. You alright, buddy? Warrior oh. Strike! Here's all your stuff. Go on, do your sonic, do sonic damage. Oh, you stressed me out. You. Stop that! Uh -huh. You don't stress out Reginald! Mm -hmm. You do not stress out oh. Reginald. Okay, we need three battles to get to the next level up. Hmm. Just didn't see that. Alright, Omer! Let's take you on next. I rolled a 14. That's really good for me. Uh, let's go one. Boom! There goes all your stuff. You're electrified. You missed. And you've jumped right into my trap. There you go. 
god, imagine War Sword with that electrified damage. How much damage that would be doing. It's going to put us in very good stead for later on in the game. It certainly is. Because we're nearly, we're almost a third of the way through um, the opposition right now. We're almost a third of the way through. Um, until the, uh, until the Starbound Gladiator arrives. So we need to try and get some levels. Okay. Oh, nice shit. What? You have such a... You have a, you have a knife and you, you're doing this much damage with a knife. What the hell, mate? Where do you get off? There you go. Jesus. You are a powerful sword. Fair enough. I'm now honorable. Lovely to see. Well, that's going to boost my holy smite going. That'll be quite good. Uh, have I fought everyone? I have. Okay. We'll do the old, we'll do the old level up then. Level up! Alright. Uh, let's go vitality strength. I think we're fine with attack for the moment. Apart from that guy. Uh, yeah, definitely getting more showman. Getting more gold. It's going to be needed in the end, so might as well get it now. It's now raining. Alright then. Uh, I don't want to challenge the arena champion yet. I can't use swords! <laughs> what a surprise! Big old surprise! I can't use swords again. Alright, the Bardish then. It's weak! It is weak! But, you know, mm -hmm. I think we should be s still be okay. We got Floop Flop Doop! Might as well fight you first. Why not? See if this Bardish can deal with you. 17's a good start. Or a strike! Alright, didn't get rid of all of your, of your, all of your armor, but took most of it out. Nice parry. Oh no! Oh god! That's a lot of poison. Ah! It's a lot of freeze, but I have battle rage. The helmet's gone. Ah! Power attack! You're gone. Jesus. It's a lot of damage. Would have been even more, actually, if I had my proper weapon. Because I said, just a... Uh, Bardies that's just not upgraded at all. You know, just wouldn't work. All right. I'm going to face all these guys, and then I think we're going to go for a break here, because I don't know what time we're on because of a chipmunk voice. Probably not a good time, though. There you go. Oh, yeah. That necrotic damage is going to get to me. Eventually! Luckily, I've gotten rid of all your stuff, though. Ooh, you've electrified me. That's annoying. Power attack! Take that. Ooh, nice comeback. I'm electrified. Take that again. Okay, Grave Pack, that's not great for you. I'm now Ferocious, so my hit chance is massively increased. Lunge in. I miss because you're too far away, that's fine. Oh. Okay, stop that immediately. Alright, and a War Strike should finish you. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely to see. We beat Shocklash in seven turns. Okay. Moving onwards. More battles are required. I'm not taking on the arena champion just yet. <gasps> Muhammad Enin. You are next. You have a bow. I don't like that immediately. And I rolled a two. Stop that. Stop that instantly. Command. Get back over here. Okay, I don't mind that necessarily. Keep the lines. There goes all your armor. Be one of these, is it? It's gonna be one of these battles. It's gonna be one of these battles, eh? Oh, you do a lot of damage as well. Ow! My helmet! Ow, my shoulder guard! Ow, my pants! Now you're unyielding. Great. The lines ain't gonna work. You're too far away, unfortunately. Ow! I might actually lose this. Command him! Get over it! Oh! That's not good! That is not good. Ah, my cape. Where are you? Oh, I can see you. You've got a little fat kid now. Strength and defense. Oh, great. Strength and defense reduced. Lovely. I am so small. Don't jump. I've just barely got to you. 
Don't move! I didn't damage that. Critical. I sod you, buddy. Get out. Ah. I can't lunge after rest. No! No! You bastard. Ah. Human spirit. Get rid of the fat kid. Ah! I can't use command yet because I don't have enough essence. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, jump towards me. Yeah, go do that. Do that. Come on! Don't jump. Really, you're healing. I'm gonna bloody kill you. <clears throat> well, that was just annoying. <laughs> that was just annoying. I think I need that Shadow Strike move. I need that next. Uh, is that everyone? No, there's actually one guy to go. Fell Socks. Let's just take you on. Might as well. Sorry for the long video, folks. I'm sure people won't really mind that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Take that. I think it's all your stuff. You're going to walk towards me like a fool. I'm ferocious now. You're dead. That's how they should go! Bloody horrible bow users that just run away all the time. Bloody wusses. It's like, fight me! Fight me like a gladiator! Don't just run away! Alright. Uh, yeah, let's keep up with your vitality and strength, I think. And we'll keep going with Showman. Keep going with Showman right there. 204 days until arrival. Now oh, we got some, uh, some more weapons and armor here. Might be useful. Who knows? It might be. We got the legendary new pants. They're not great. <laughs> to be fair, they're not good. What else we got? We got... Still not great. To be fair. Uh, No. No. Ooh. That is technically better. I mean, yeah, it's armor's less, but it does boost vitality and attack. I think that's worth it, you know. It will lower my armor value, but it'll increase my health. I think that's worth it, personally. I think that's worth it. Alright, let's sell you. Oh, sell my items, please. Uh, let's get rid of you. Press play to war. It's nice to have you for a short while. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go for a break here, folks, but in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Immortals, I think we'll take on the Arena Champion next. I just want to replace this Bardish first. I'll see you then!